WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. Dow's up 226.7 tenths of a percent. S&P 7 tenths as well, 29 points there. Only 0.2 percent for the uh, NDX 100, 25 points there. Russell's up 7 tenths, 13 points. Semis are flat. Trannies are up 2.5 percent, 315 points to the upside. Gold's trade out at 1770. Lightspeed crude is trading out at 96.84. That's back 40 cents. Silver having a big move, up 7%. 1988 is the print there. Natural gas back 22 cents. 832 is the print. And the 30 year Treasury is uh, printing at 143.02. That's up 10 ticks. If we take a look at our nine panel market update chart, we'll take a look at the ES Mini. What did the ES Mini do yesterday? Closed above the top of its daily profile. That was at 40.16. It's now attained at least the one to one A to B equals CD price projection. Until a bearish reversal candle forms, that says the next price target is 41.19. And as long as that spot volatility remains below its 50-day exponential moving average, that is a likely outcome. If we take a look at the NQ, this is the thorn in the side out here. Maybe this gets resolved tonight after Apple's earnings at 4.30. I don't know. But right now, the NQ is not confirming this breakout. And what I mean by that is the NQ generated a sell the D point, a Gartley sell pattern on uh, last Friday, July 22nd. That sets up resistance of the high of that pattern. Turns out it was the high of that candle. And that's at 12, 698.50. Not until price closes above that will that pattern get negated and then price can motor on. The motor on level would be 12, 869 next, 13,004 above that. U.S. dollar index is uh, closed just slightly below the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile yesterday. It's trying to get back inside there. So I'm not going to have a clear idea as to what the U.S. dollar index intends to do. We take a look at the December contract for gold. It's trading up into resistance. That's both the top of its daily profile, but more importantly, the top of its bearish structured weekly profile. And that says if price is able to close above 1778, what we likely have is a change in trend signal. Not till then. Now, silver is testing the top of its weekly profile, 1986. Price trade at 1990. So a close above 1987 today. That says that silver is in breakout mode. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. And please join me tomorrow morning. We'll be recording the show, and that starts at about 8.06 sharp. We'll see you then. Take care.